Welcome to our lecture, and here we are at the community recommendation page for Altona Ridland in Manitoba. Well, we are here in this page basically is going to look at the process of how to request a nomination or recommendation for the community so you can apply under the rural pilot program for the community of Altona and Greenland, Manitoba. If you read the website here, we can see that we have the career search and jobs as the first choice that we are confronted. And if you click there, it will take you to the list of current employments available for the community. You have a note here that says very clearly, you need to review the job posting carefully and only, only submit application for the jobs that you are fit with your skills and experience. This is very important. Another thing is that the community limit the candidate to a maximum of three active job applications at a time. So as a candidate, you only can apply for three jobs at a time. And the active job will be the job application in your candidate profile. Okay? You can withdraw that job application and apply for another one, but you cannot have more than three active job applications at a time under your candidate profile. They have another note here that you need to read and it's very important that you need every note because if you miss one of those notes or those tips, you might find yourself not being able to benefit from the pilot program. If you don't find a job posting that meets your work experience and or education, they encourage you to create a candidate profile and they're going to offer you a career alert automatically, notifying you by email of a job opportunity that match your criteria. So you probably are a cook and they don't have a position for a cook in the website at the moment. But the fact that you create your profile as a candidate, you can then have a choice of the career alert that automatically when that job position open in that community, you're going to be notified right away so you can apply. Okay. So that's the idea of using the career alert uh, by creating your candidate profile. You're going to need a resume. In our lecture, we're going to include a copy of the resume that they provide for you, just a, a simple sample. But also, you can check that in our uh, lecture about resumes in Canada. Okay? You can also can check the refer to localjobshop.ca and the job bank. As you can use also those pro, those or job boards to look for jobs in the community, and you saw, you're gonna see that also on our lecture about using job boards in Canada. You also have to understand the community specific criteria. We already talked about the IRCC or Government of Canada eligibility criteria, but you also need to check also the criteria specifically for the community of Alona. In Manitoba. You're also going to see the process. So there's another page talking about the process. We're going to check it in a moment. And once you arrive, imagine that all the process is done, you were elected, you apply for the PR, you arrive to Canada, then you have a link to what it is the regionalconnection.ca talking about the certain services for you available. Also, this website talk about using immigration representative like lawyers and paralegals, notaries and consultants, registered consultants like I am, and the requirements and information that you need to, to know. And finally, you can contact them by inputting your name, email, any question you have, and type the, the message there and you submit and they, they will get back to you. And you can also check videos about Manitoba Central Tourism just to know about the places, interesting places they have for you. In Manitoba okay so from here we're gonna move to one of those links and then we're gonna review the information we are in the first link and the first link talk about the careers and job opportunities in Altona and here you can see a link how to create your profile The again the note about the three job applications that you can do at a time also the current employment opportunities that we have here and again if they invite you to create a profile if you don't find a job available for you right now. But the fact that you have a profile will be able to get the automatic alert about the job that you're looking for.
So here we have some jobs. We have a in Buffalo Creek Mills, a bill, mill operator. We have the Airman's Manufacturing, you have a CNC machinist, and then you have different positions for painter, purchasing manager, boundary machine operator, construction laborer, welder, truck driver. So you have all those positions right now. And again, if you don't find your position here, create a profile and you get a notification when that position becomes available. Then we can continue with the community specific criteria and remember once you meet the federal criteria you need to make sure that you meet this criteria here and here they have the information uh, in four step here and they mention everything about the manager instruction about the Altona or municipality of Rhineland talking about creating the profile we talk about the instruction of how the extension of what the, the community is covered under the ministerial instructions and the information about the immigration pilot about this page and also the positions you can apply in the job bank or in the local job jobshop.ca so those are the two websites they, they recommend okay so this is the priority points grid for the Altona Redland comprehensive CA score grid and what we can see here is that if you continue reading if you as a candidate I receive a qualifying job offer in the sector of agriculture or manufacturing, you're gonna get 20 points. Okay. The candidate receive a qualifying job offer in the sector of construction, food processing, and financial services, you get 10 points. So the priority right now is agriculture manufacturing, because are the two biggest industries in Altona. But if you get a job in another sector like construction, food processing, and financial services, you're gonna get 10 points instead. Here you see the job offer is from established employer. Who has been operating in the boundaries as defined by the ministerial instructions of the town of Altona or municipality of Greenland for, for at least 10 years. So this is the instructions to qualify for the employer. So if you got a job for job offer from an employer that qualify under this instruction, then you get 10 points. The job offer is for an employer who would provide a candidate with a workplace mentor for a minimum of six months. If they offer you a mentor on top of, of the job offer, then you get five points too. The job offer is a national occupational classification, NOC a skill A, NOC B, you get 10. If you get an NOC C, you get five. You have a valid driver's license. If that's the case, you get five points. The candidate has lived in an adult 18 years age of order in a community with a population of 10,000 people or less. So it means that if you have ever live in a small community, then you're gonna be granted five points. So again, every time you meet the requirements in every of these points, you get points, okay? So they continue all the way. Then the last point will be age. If you are between the ages of 25 and 38, then you're gonna have 10 points, okay? and they have additional information that you need to read so basically these are the specific requirements by the community the specific criteria that you need to fulfill and based on those criteria that you have here you start accumulating points remember the people with the highest score points will be the one that will be probably be assessed and called for a recommendation you also have here the process and here in the process we can see that Employers interested in the pilot must contact C to arrange an employer pre-screening meeting. So remember, your employer has to be screened by this organization, the community organization, basically supporting entrepreneurs economic development. That's why they stand for C. And you need to ensure that the employer and job position meet the pilot eligibility criteria. So they're going to do all the screening of the employers. Then the applicants must create a candidate profile. In the website then they're gonna the applicant will apply to the job posting that made the past work experience and education remember you need to prove your work experience and education also and uh, the applicant can create a candidate profile with the option to set up the career alert automatically in case you don't have the job that you're looking for available then you get the email with the job opportunities when they become available then sit we forward the applicant's resume to the employer that's basically when you apply then see where 
submit the, the resume to the employer. Remember, certain communities you can apply directly to the employer. In this case with Altona, because it's managed through SEED, you need the resume will become to SEED first and then they're going to send it to the employer. Then the employer will conduct the normal hiring practices. They're going to review the resume, they're going to conduct the interview, and they're going to check the reference. That's what you need to understand that you cannot ask SEED, oh, give me a job. No, that's not the purpose of the community here. The community is you post your resume matching the job posting that they have in the website and they remit that to the employer and the employer take care of the whole hiring process. And then if the employer is satisfied, they're going to give you an offer of employment and they're going to provide you an offer of to seed. In step 10, seed will provide the applicant with schedule one. They're going to provide you the, the rural and northern immigration pilot and community recommendation questions documents and you need to complete it and upload it in your candidate profile. In addition to also supporting documents in order to apply for the community recommendation. So they will contact you, email it will be the, the way. You fill out the information, the form and the questions. You're gonna load the information with the documents in their website and then they're gonna assess that. C will verify the offer of employment and the community recommendation application documentation. One, C to ensure that all documentation is in order. The vetting committee assess the priority factors and the top ranking candidates move into the further assessment, including an applicant interview to ensure they intend to reside in the community. Again, like every, every community, they're going to make sure they have some interviews. You need to convince them that they, you want to stay in the community, you want to live in the community. And after that, then you're going to receive a, everything goes well. You receive a positive assessment from the vetting committee with the community recommendation. And the applicant then submit a permanent resident application to IRC, IRCC and is assessed against the federal selection criteria and admissibility requirements. Okay. Then once IRCC confirms the application is complete, the applicant and their family members, if applicable, can apply for a work permit, the, the one year of a work permit. And if approved, they can come to Canada while the application for permanent resident is being processed. So you don't need to wait until the whole process of the PR application is going. If you get all the documentation, you apply for the PR, then you can apply for the work permit, and then you can come to Canada before the, the PR application is done, okay? And finally, the employer and the community work on the applicant and provide services to support the settlement and integration. And so here's some information about the process of assessing the application. So, very important information that you can find here. This is what it is when it comes to the process. So make sure you understand it. Make sure you fulfill every requirement that they have in the website. I'm going to see in our assessment in the lecture how to do the uh, creation of your profile as a candidate. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.